What are you doing? They want that chest, and I am going to get it for them. Then they will see. There is just no getting through to you, is there? Then we will do this together. If you get caught at the Winter Palace, they will kill you on sight. We will need a safe way in. And I know where we might scout one. That is if you can bear to follow my lead for a change. You do not have to get involved, Nihal. I know your feelings on this. It is utterly foolish. But it seems I cannot stop you. So I will come with and nag you until you decide to abandon the idea of stealing a chest from the Khalifa's Winter Palace. When you say it like that, it only excites me further. Are we going or not? Lead the way. This is a mad plan, Basim. Even if you were to succeed and they welcome you into their ranks, what then? Will you forget about us? Of course not. Nihal, their interests are our interests. You, me, and every other street dweller who has been cast aside. Living off scraps and dirty water. I can be an instrument that sees us out of that life. That sees that Jasip can use his talents to be a real craftsman. That sees that good men are not cast aside as my father was. And no children left wondering what tomorrow will bring. I hear what you are saying, Basim. But you paint a portrait of a world that cannot exist. That is where we disagree. There it is, the Winter Palace. Come, this way. Right behind you. Here. Let us wait for nightfall. Does where you stand not awaken fond memories? Not so long ago, we were counting our spoils up here, under the cover of night. Just like this. The stakes were lower then. And so too was the prize. Well, before you claim your prize, you will first have to reach it. As far as I can see, that will take some creativity. We could always try the front gate. You will have to let me know how that goes for you. Where are you going? I've had a clever thought. If your mind is absent of one, you should perhaps follow mine. Wait! It is dark enough. Come. Nihal! Fastening yourself to my tail, Basim? Very sensible. I know how you hate to be alone. <gasps> See some guards just that way. With lime sauce, pomegranates, and lemon. Oh, I can taste it now. Shh. I heard something.
guests. Such odd costumes. Keep your mouth shut. We only invite the trouble. Why dress that way, Mama? Not best of us. This door may lead us inside. Not without a key, it won't. Mm. Have a look around. Now, where has Nihal gone? Any luck finding a key? The Khalifa appears unsettled. An unruly son is not helping matters. The young man is eager. It's his first time in the palace, is it not? Let him wander, I say. Cater to his need. Khalifa awaits you. They have arrived, Maulay. Out, all of you. I am to meet with them alone. Father, let me stay. Take him. Looks heavy. We'll never get it out of the palace. Then I will just have to take what is inside? Gentlemen, welcome. Everything is in order. I understand this means a great deal to you. Rest assured, it will be well protected here. We will accept nothing less. We will carry out our work and return to you when we are ready. Be prepared, Khalifa. Uh, might I see it once? The contents. If we are to guard this with our lives, we should know... <laughs> you saw nothing of this. You say nothing. Do you understand? Uh, yes, of course. Perish the idea. Now is our chance. Someone is coming. This way. Looks quiet. 
I never thought I'd set foot in here. Just look at these arches. You could chisel off a piece and sell it for a hoard of gold. You didn't happen to bring a pickaxe, did you? I will keep it in mind for the next time we break into a palace. All right, Basim. Open. Snatch. Run. Basim, hurry! Basim! Give me that! No! Do you have any idea what they will do to me? Please! I... I am sorry! This... This is your fault! Stop! Please! You thieving little rat! No! Run! Nihal, wait! Father! Get that boy! She just... What was she thinking? I need to find her. She would have gone back home.
निहाल you to tell me about this. I do not know what you mean. Tell me what happened. Silence is not your ally here. It is not silence. I cannot explain what I saw. That object. It did something to me. I was somewhere else, cold and frightened. Before I knew it, the Khalifa had his hands around my neck. I... It was an accident. I did not mean for... Just wanted to help. We need to get you out of here. I have a boat at the Western Docks. What? No, I, I cannot leave. I need to find Nihal. Stop and think, Basim. The Khalifa's guard is searching for his murderer, a young thief of your description. They will not stop until they have found you. And when they do, it will not be a prison they throw you into. It will be a shallow grave. I'm giving you a second chance. Take it. Nihal, Derwish. They are all in danger! The soldiers are hunting all who look like me. I do not lose these guards. you point your blamey little finger, Basim. It was your idea to steal from the palace. Also that you can impress your cunning friends. I saved us. You killed them! 
You did it this! It came from over there! I hope I never see you again. Hurry! All of them dead. When it was me they sought to punish. I... I... I cannot be here. I cannot... There you are! Surrender yourself, boy! There is no use in hiding! Stop! Is it him? I think so. Yes. Good enough. Move. New day, another test. I should get back. Are you ready? I, uh... I think so. Put yesterday out of your mind. It has no bearing on today. Get dressed and we can begin. Like we practiced. Yes, Master. You look strong today, Bassem. Keep training. Steady, Bassem. Steady. Please. I've seen enough. We will try again tomorrow. I felt fine. I can see it in your body. You lose focus too easily. The leap of faith is a crucial step on your path to initiation. It is one of the Brotherhood's first and most sacred rites. 
To perform it successfully, you must first center your mind, body, and spirit. Embrace the fear, quiet it, find a stillness, and let go. Yes, Master. Let's return to the camp. May I ask you something? You may. Back in Anbar, at the palace, I witnessed a meeting between the Khalifa and five masked men, border members. The Khalifa was meant to protect the object they discovered, but he knew nothing of their plans for it. He did not even know them by name. How does the most powerful man in Baghdad bend such a fearful knee to the faceless? The Order has held dominion over such men and their empires for centuries. By convincing them of their truth, that they are the natural arbiters of the world. The Khalifa was but their puppet. And the same will be true of whomever succeeds him. The entire Khalifa is under their influence. <clears throat> Basim, speak with Fulav and see if he needs help. We will continue your training later. Yes, Master. Have you seen Mentor Rehan in camp? He is preparing to receive the Tahari Emissary, Master. Thank you. How is Noor the brave eagle? Will he fall or will he soar? You will soar, Ya Sadiqi. Inshallah. Thank you. We have a similar spirit, you know. What gave you that idea? One of the Banu Musa was angry at you, and you were unfazed. Remember? I did not touch his hammer. You refused to apologize for something you did not do. I respect that. Stubborn, like me. I have been called worse. Have you seen Fulad in camp? I have seen him speaking to Ahmed near his office. Araka lahitan. <clears throat> ah, what is this in the corner? Here, a small design. It is my signature. So you know I created this, and not Al Hassan, or worse, Abu Jafar. I just you understand, Wadan. Ah, Basim, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Reminds me of someone. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience. Be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you? Ah, yes. Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fulad. Araka lahekan. That is not it. It is hard to find anything in here. No, that is not a strip of leather. Caliphate are beginning to put pressure on us. Forces? You mean the Order, Aban? I... can only speak of what I know, Yassar Dedi. The Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any... Caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. Be that as it may, Governor Muhammad is very committed to showing that he can end this rebellion swiftly. 
<laughs> I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. Things are moving fast in Baghdad. You may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. So the Tahirids who govern these lands are the only thing standing between Alamut and a full-scale attack. A fragile piece. How long will it last? How does construction go? Uh, it is taking longer than we expected, Yasaidi. That must be frustrating. Uh, Mentorayan is a wise man, but he speaks of this mountain as if it was destined that we build here. We have patience and follow his guidance. Master Roshan tells me I must not be in a hurry to rush back to Madinat as Salam. I would not hurry at all. Baghdad is different now. It is very dangerous. Rebecca? Basim, Basim. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No, I have this leather for you. Will it do? Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Here is your dagger. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. This blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the Order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Roshan said you had further training today. Show her that new sword of yours. I look forward to it. How does training go, Yasodiki? Nor showed me a new way to grip my knife, and it has improved my accuracy greatly. If you throw it just so, it sails through the air, swift and true. Shall I remind you how to use a knife? Well done. Ah, you have inspired me to train harder. This is the way, Yasodi.
work until tomorrow. Basim, time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword, but how will you use it? I am here to learn that, Master. Are you truly here? Well, yes. I believe so. You are here in body. But are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No. It is the difference between life and death. Make sure you target and circle around me. Never turn your back on your opponent. Yes, better. Show me your quick stabs first. Good. Yes. Excellent. There are times when we must put more force into our attack to cause more damage. Believe me, hope. Oh, so time it properly. Now go! That's it! Come in strong. Excellent. Now, for defense, you can parry the attacks of your opponent. After a few successful parries, your opponent will be stunned. Try to parry my attacks. Yes! That's good! Excellent! Some attacks cannot be parried and must be dodged instead. Prepare yourself! Good work! That's the way. Ah, well done. Now, let us try a free fight together. Use what you've learned. That took me by surprise. Well done. Where did that come from? We are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learned nothing from failing. True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. Now seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. Think on these words and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. Ahmed will soon go back to the House of Wisdom. I fear he may end in the middle of a snake's nest. I know how close you are to your brother. We shall learn more soon. Then we can act. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Ahmed, my apologies. Do not worry. Come and warm yourself by the fire. Our brother Ahmad is leaving us tomorrow. To Baghdad, the house of wisdom. The house of wisdom? We have been working there, my brothers and I, for years. I still have some things to work on. Science waits for no one. 
and I will fulfill my duty as a hidden one by becoming your eyes and ears among the scholars. Fulath, tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. They represent the feathers of Ma'at. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. This would be left for the Lord of the Duat to judge. It is important we remain humble and know our place in the process. We are messengers of justice and not the final judges. Will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you, Noor. I must get my body moving if I'm to warm up tonight. I am grateful. Let us go. Are you coming, Basim? Leave the stories for later. <laughs> 